What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance, and right now I have something that I would like to do. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a very, very, very long time that I've never had the courage to do until today when I got a text message on my Google Voice as well as a voicemail on my Google Voice from this person. And some of you might know who I'm talking about, some of you might not. But uh, this is something that, like I said, is something I should have done a long time ago. So, give me a minute, and I do want to... I want all of you guys to be witness to this. <clears throat> so... As many of you know, I was with this girl, Rebecca Anderson, for about four years. Well, within that last year of the four years, you know, I began to realize that over time she was mentally abusing me, you know, and driving my family, my friends, and everybody I cared about away from me. Well, I have a message for that person right now because they are on Facebook. And I know I have some mutual friends that may have her. And if you guys are wondering what her name is, it's Rebecca May Anderson. And this is something I should have done a long time ago. Rebecca, you sent me that voicemail, which I quickly deleted. And you also sent me a text message asking me if I would take you back. Well, you know what? Here's your answer to that. Fuck Man? no. Yeah. It's on up here. All right. You know, they have those, those several fights before it actually starts. Yeah. Turn all the lights off down there. All right. You bring your laptop up. I already got the desk set for you. All right. You have to be fucking quiet. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. But uh, my answer to you, Rebecca, is hell the fuck no. I am never taking you back after what you did to me. You mentally abused me. You made me feel like shit. You said shit to me that was just nasty, wrong, and disgusting, and downright disturbing. You mentally abused me. You made me lose my friends and my family. So why would I want to take you back after all you've done to me? For four years, you've mentally abused me. And I didn't know that you were mentally abusing me until some of my friends and family said, like, hey, this is what she's really doing. You wanted me to be somebody I'm not. And that's not going to happen again. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to change who I am for you or for anybody. If you don't like who I am, then screw you. Can you know something? I forgave you time and time and time again. After everything you did. Well, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not taking you back and I'm not forgiving you for what you did to me. It's because of you that I am the way that I am. It's because of you that I'm scared to be with anybody. It's because of you that I still to this very fucking night. And to this very day that I have fucking nightmares. It's because of you that I'm afraid to be with anybody. Because of what you've done to me. You don't understand what you've done to me. You don't understand the level of 
mental pain and frustrations and the mental hell that you fucking caused me. You treated me like shit, Rebecca. Even after I gave you the entire world, you still treated me like shit. Even after I held that job with the gaming company for about three years, you still treated me like shit. And you knew I was working on trying to come and see you, but yet you still treated me like shit. And yet I was stupid enough to stay with you. Why? Because I actually gave a fuck about you because I cared. But yet, what did you do to me in return? You mentally abused me and pulled me down to the lowest point in my life. You know, it's because of you that I have trouble holding a stable relationship. It's because of you that I go through the shit that I go through. And I should have stood up to you a long time ago, but here I am doing it now. What you did to me is wrong. And honestly, I hope you pay for what you've done. I hope that somebody busts your ass like you did with me. You mentally abuse me, and I hope that one day you get what you deserve. I hope that somebody does to you what you did to me. I hope somebody belittles you to, to the point that you feel like you don't want to live anymore. Because that's exactly how you made me feel. I'll be honest with you. There was a couple of times because of you, Rebecca, that I wanted to end everything. But I didn't. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't because now I have the courage to stand up to you and say, fuck you and everything that you stand for. You abused me so bad that I became somebody I wasn't. It's because of you that my family and friends got pushed away. I had no friends because of you. I had family that pushed me away, including my own mom and my brother. You know, because of you, I lost a lot of things. And that wasn't fair. I lost out on opportunities because of you. I lost out on things I could have done in my life because of you and what you did to me. Well, guess what? Here I am saying, fuck you, fuck what you stand for, and get the fuck up out of my life, and never come near me, my family, or any of my friends again. And whoever you have as a mutual friend, you better get rid of them now. Because you know something? I'm done taking your shit. I know your little game. You're thinking that I'm going to be dumb enough to take you back just so you can mentally abuse me some more. Well, guess what? That's not going to happen. I'm done with it. I'm better now because of, you know, the fact that I'm not with you. For the last four years, you've done nothing but tear my life apart. And mentally abuse me and break me down to the point to where I felt worthless. And it's taken me almost a year and a half to rebuild my life to where it's at. Do I still have nightmares about everything? Yes. Am I still afraid because of what you've done to me? Of course I am. And guess what? It's because of you that I have these mental issues. It's because of you that I can't hold a steady relationship. And people think that I'm the one to blame, that I have myself to blame, no. The only person I have to blame because of that is you. You know, 
one thing you don't realize is that when you abused me like you did, you basically tore me down to nothing. You almost made me codependent on you. Well, guess what? That ain't happening again. And if you guys are wondering what exactly she did, she mentally abused me in the way of making me feel worthless, tearing me down, making me feel like I needed her, like I needed to be with her. Um, one minute she'd be like, you know, like we're good. You know, everything's fine. You know, we're happy. And then next minute she would turn around and say, we're through, we're done. And two seconds later, she'd be like, okay, yeah, we're together, but this is how things are going to work. Otherwise they're not going to work at all. And then when we were together, she would make me say these awful, horrible things that I would normally never say. Um, she said stuff to me that was just downright disgusting, disturbing, and just all around something you should just never say or do. Like, she talked about doing some of the, just the nastiest, most disturbing shit that even to this day just makes me gag thinking about it. And because of her, I lost a lot of my family and friends relationships that I'm just now gaining back a year and a half later after leaving her. And the reason why I'm just now getting them back is because I finally said enough is enough and I left her. It took some of my closest friends and family to make me realize that I was being mentally abused. Believe me, it was, it was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. It really was, it was, it was hard. I sat down and cried for the first week and a half after I had finally done it. And then, you know, I finally came to terms and realized, hey, I was being mentally abused. And, you know, the things that she was doing was just wrong, disturbing, degrading. Sorry if I sound like I'm getting choked up. It's because, you know, I am. Because of everything that she's done to me over the years. And, you know, at one point she degraded me so bad that I honestly wanted to kill myself. I really did because of how she treated me and what she did to me. But thankfully, I had a couple of very good friends of mine who I was able to talk to about what was going on and they helped me through it. So you guys know who you are, and I thank you guys for sticking by me and helping me to escape, you know, wanting to do that. And more importantly, help me escape the mentally abusive relationship that I suffered with her for four years. And if you guys are wondering how me and her met, we actually met through a psych that's no longer up. It used to be called antivide.com and now it's anaspace, well, was anaspace.net until they took it down. So I just want to thank you guys for everything that you've done. I really do. Like, you guys really helped me in a big way. And, you know, even to this very day, I'm still rebuilding myself from that situation. Like, you know, it's not easy to rebuild yourself after you've gone through something like that for four years. You know, it's very hard for me to hold a relationship because most people don't understand, you know, fully about not only about what happened, but my situation in general. 
with me having to try to find a job that I can work here from home and me having to take care of my mom who's pretty much to the point of being disabled. You know, and with those two things is very hard. You know, I'm always scared, you know. When I'm with somebody and I'm in a relationship, I'm always scared, you know, that they're either going to leave or they're going to find somebody else and not give a shit. And that's how it's been for me since... I got out of that situation, you know, constantly being scared, constantly worrying, you know, what if she leaves me? What if, you know, somebody comes along and takes her from me? What if, you know, she doesn't love me anymore? What if she does this? What if she does that? What about this? What about that? And that's something that I have to deal with every day because of what Rebecca did to me and how badly she mentally abused me. And, you know, I'm just now starting to get my life back on track. Is it easy for me? Not at all. It's honestly the hardest thing I'm having to do right now is to try to get over, you know, all the stuff that she's done to me and just, you know, get back to where I was. Like I said, it's not an easy process. It's really not. It's the hardest process after leaving that you can go through. Like, it really is the hardest process that you could deal with. You know, the process of being mentally abused for four years or four plus years and then leaving that person and then trying to rebuild yourself mentally after they've broken you down so badly that you feel like you have no way out. It's a long and very hard process. It is doable, though. I'm going through it myself. And is it hard? No. Not at times. But there are times where it does get hard. And it's never easy going through something like that. It's really not. And as I said, you know, right now, I'm... You know, working the best I can. I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm doing what I can when I can to better myself every day. And, you know, it just, it's a very long and hard process. It may take a few weeks, it may take a couple months. Hell, it may even take a couple years. But, you know, every day I'm working at it slowly. As hard as it is, I'm doing what I can when I can. So, I mean, if you're out there and you are wanting to be with me, you know, I hope that you can understand my situation. You know, I'm sorry that I was mentally abused, and I'm sorry that I do have issues as far as, you know, you know, trust issues go. I am learning to trust again, though. And I'm sorry that, you know, I live at home with my mom, who's pretty much disabled and can't do very much. But you got to realize... She was hit by a car last year and thrown 10 feet. The car was doing 30 miles an hour, maybe even more when she was hit. And she was just crossing the road, just getting off the Metro bus and going across the street when she was hit. And because of that, she cannot do very much at all. So I do have to stay home and help take care of her.
but I do have a job as a custom shop owner. I design my own custom clothing, you know, and everything like that. And I am working on trying to get a job doing what I do best or something that I'm good at. So if you do want to be with me, you know, that's cool. I'm okay with that. But I just hope that you understand the situation and what it is that, you know, I'm going through not just on a personal level, but having to help out. But uh, as I said, you know, I hope this video or this live stream kind of helped you guys see what it is that I go through on a daily basis because of her. And if you guys do see her, make sure you block her. Because trust me, she is not worth the time or the effort. I've learned that the hard way. And I hope that me being able to get out of this mentally abusive relationship like I did. You know, I hope it helps you guys too. If you're going through a similar situation, I hope that, you know, that this helps inspire you to get out of that situation. Or if you have gotten out of that situation, I hope this shows you that you're not the only one out there. And that you're not alone. Because I'm going through it as well. And I'm sure there's many others out there going through the same thing that I am right now. And I hope you guys know that you're not alone. There is help out there. There are others out there like myself who understand how you feel. And what you're going through. So if you are going through that situation. Or a similar situation. Don't be afraid to message me. Don't be afraid to contact me at all. Or reach out to somebody who you know you can trust. But uh, with that being said guys. Thank you all for stopping in. And, you know, I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit more about the situation of me being mentally abused. But with that being said, guys, I love you all. And I will see you guys here in a few hours. Because right now I'm actually about to hop off here and go upstairs and watch some fast lane with the family on WWE Network. So, I will see you guys in a few hours, man. I love you guys. Thank you all for watching.